okay. Stop there. Do you know if you blow this picture up really big, it will save us having to write about a million words. Can you go back a bit? Then if we get a photo of the school outing. Right, well that'll take care of half the front page. Then on the other half, we can put a headline like, Mrs Jessup lets off steam. We can make sure we get a photo of her telling someone off. Hmm. Right. OK. That careers guy telling us it was so hard to be journalist. I can't see what the problem is. <laughs> Is Rex all right? Yes. He's staying up there, is he? Oh, no, he went out. After taking some photos for this newspaper thing we're doing. The dog likes it, does he? Well, not really. I just need someone to work the controls. <laughs> I'm sorry there's not more than half a page. It's a bit difficult writing when you're a dog. Oh, don't worry. If we get stuck, we can always pad it out with some netball results. We're nearly there now, so make sure you have your worksheets and your packed lunches. They'll be starting by showing us the engine sheds to see the locomotives they're restoring. Then we'll have our picnic, and then they promised us a ride in one of the steam trains. Can you go a bit slow, please, miss? You're taking notes, Michael? Yeah. Well, that's very flattering. I didn't know you were so interested in trains. Well, not really. I've just got to do something for this newspaper we're doing. I see. Well, make sure you don't misquote me. I should hate to have to sue you. Now, remember, these people are doing us a great favour by letting us visit their station. So I want everyone to be on their very best behaviour. That may even mean using a hanky gag. That's that white tissue thing your mother put in your pocket when she left you on the coach. So lots of pleases and thank yous from everyone. Please, miss. Yes, we know you can do it, Shelley. No, miss, it's just why has it got closed written on the gate, miss? Because. What? <laughs> this is the gate they said with a sign on it. Unless there's another one. This looks promising. Well, it's something to write about anyway. Shocked members of Year 7 learned at the very gates of the Midland Steam Preservation Society that their educational visit may be cut short. Baffled students watched whilst teacher, Mrs Jessup... How old do you suppose she is? What? We always put people's ages in newspaper reports. Mrs Jessup... whatever. Went in search of another entrance, but there appeared to be none. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. It clearly upset Mrs. Jessup. Michael. Michael. Put a sock in it, will you? Put a. <laughs> this really is most annoying. I booked this in February, and they confirmed it three weeks ago. <sighs> All right. Everyone back on the coach. We'll have to find a phone box and see what's going on. Come on. Two, four, six, eight. Michael, just a sec, I'm trying to get it all down. Don't worry, I'll cover for you. How do I get home? Right, good point. Oh, we need a plan. Come on, everyone, quicker we get on, sooner we'll be back. I reckon if I cause a bit of a diversion by pretending to be sick... What are you doing, Michael? Oh, I've dropped part of my kit, miss. Uh, sorry. Well, actually, I feel a bit sick. Well, do it on the coach, will you? I want to be back here as soon as possible.
horrid silly. Where was he? Must have been down the other end of the yard. I hardly took my eyes off him for a second. Where's he come from? I don't know. But I think he had a lot to do with us finding Simon. <coughs> he was following the dog back across the track, weren't you? <coughs> You're a good dog. Now, if we'd lost him, we'd have had some explaining to do, I tell oh, you. <laughs> yeah. You better get that, Arthur. Get what, Nora? The phone, dear, the phone. Oh, the phone. Oh. Hello? This is Jessup. Right. No one told you? Well, Mrs. Jessup, I'm afraid there's been a bit of a problem. Selling it? The council are. They only rent it. Why don't they get the council to sell it to them? I suppose they don't have the money. I thought you said it was a proper old-fashioned station. Surely they can get the money by showing people around and taking them on rides and things. You couldn't. It's a real mess. Why don't they just clear it up? It can't be that bad. It is. You haven't seen it. Well, perhaps that's what I should do. What? I'll go and see it. You mean on your own? No, no, you could come too. It's just we've got a very short newspaper all of a sudden. It's not much of a story, is it? School trip cancelled. You could take photographs of what everyone missed. Right. So how do we get in? Seem to specialise in locking people out. Well, we said we could come, so I'm coming. All clear, nothing coming. Idea what it's like being in there with him bashing away. It's like being in a drum. What can I do for you? We rang yesterday afternoon about doing an article on the steam railway. Oh, Mr. Thomas and Mr. Tully. That's right, Rex and Michael. Oh, Rex and Michael, newspaper reporters, eh? That's us. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd be a little older. Oh dear. No, no, I'm delighted anyone wants to come. The newspapers don't seem very interested in our problems, I'm afraid. We are. Oh, well, you're very welcome. <laughs> Have we met somewhere before? No. No, I don't think so. Oh, you look familiar. <laughs> Nora? Nora? Hello? She's come in. <gasps> oh, I've been looking everywhere for that. You can't put anything down. Not when he's around, he will not leave things alone. He's got to be into everything. Haven't you, little monkey? These, uh, these gentlemen have come to have a look around. They're reporters. Oh. I thought they'd be a little older. Well, where would you like to begin? Why don't you go and get organised? Sorry? I expect they'd like a ride on a steam train. Wouldn't they? Yes, please. All oh, right, of course. <laughs> It'll take him about half an hour. Do you want to go and help him? Oh, that'd be brilliant. Arthur, can you take Simon? He's our daughter's. He's a menace. Do I have to? Oh, now, you know, I'll get nothing done if he's not allowed to go with you. I'll look after him. Oh, thanks very much. I think he's taking a shine to you. <laughs> he's got two great loves, this child. Railway engines and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> 